good morning. Could I help you? Oh, well, I'm waiting for Dr. Hartley. I'm a psychology student, and I'm going to be observing Dr. Hartley for the next couple of months. Oh, you're Veronica Kidd. That's right, but everybody calls me Ronnie. Oh, well, Dr. Hartley will be here in a few minutes. Oh, I'm so excited. I just can't wait to meet him. I bet he's brilliant. How much? <laughs> no, no, no. no, Bob is a very intelligent man, and you'll learn a lot. Well, I have a lot to learn. And I'll teach you tonight. <laughs> I'm Dr. Robinson, the leading orthodontist on this entire floor, but everybody calls me Jerry. Among other things. <laughs> well, hello, I'm, uh, I'm Ronnie Kidd. I'm going to be observing Dr. Hartley. Ah, oh, that sounds like fun. It's kind of like watching a rock move. <laughs> that was him. He usually makes it on the second try. Hey, how about... Hey, how about... Hey, Oh, you, uh, you must be Ronnie. Oh, Dr. Hartley, it is such a pleasure to meet you. I'm so excited about this fantastic opportunity. I would rather have you than any of the psychologists who volunteered for this program. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, who, uh, how did you, how did you happen to choose me? I drew your name out of a hat. <laughs> this office is so meaningful. Well, it's, it's always meant a lot to me. I bet there's a deep psychological reason why everything is the way it is. The, uh, the reason is money. I didn't have any when I bought this stuff. <laughs> oh, but it really feels right. Especially the way you've got the furniture arranged. The chair here. The couch there. You know, I, um, I put the, uh, the chair beside the couch so that uh, the uh, couch and the, and the chair would be... <laughs> beside each other so that the patient and I would be in uh, close proximity to the the couch and the chair that's wonderful oh, it's something you learn from experience you know I know that I must be babbling on like a little kid but but I feel like I'm working with Sigmund Freud <laughs> well I'm, I'm sure I'm sure it was similar except I think I think Freud had a, had a leather couch <laughs> that you'd kind of be old-fashioned and stuffy, but I bet your patients must love you. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Hartley, Ph.D. Oh, that's what I'm looking forward to, a diploma just like yours. Yeah, except I imagine you would uh, you'd want your own name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Ronnie, uh, what, what would you like to talk about? Well, let's talk about your technique. Technique. Well, I do a lot of testing. Do you give the Jandi? The the what? The Jandi test. Oh yeah, yeah. If the, <coughs> if the the situation calls for it. Oh, I would love to see it. Do you have a copy? A uh, copy of my Jandi. Uh, <laughs> oh darn it! Somebody locked my Jandi drawer. <laughs> But I, I do have some uh, some ink blots. Ink blots. Yeah, they're not they're not jandies, but what is? <laughs> Isn't it amazing what people see when they look at ink blots? And this one, I see hate. I see an apple. <laughs> you know, you're absolutely right. Hate doesn't have a stem. Hmm. Maybe it's a big fat spider. That's that's what it is. With with a stem. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think it's so great that a psychologist of your stature can admit that he doesn't know everything. Well, there are, there are a lot of things I don't know. Like what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to learn so much here. I just hope that I don't get in your way. 